How you doing? Uh, is a five nine three number? Yeah, five nine three zero three four two seven. Um, these go on the first two rows, the empties. Yep. And then this one is. Okay. Thank you. One six two eight six two. Right, so we're gonna drop this trailer. I'm here at uh, Tropicana in Bradenton, Florida. Uh, we're gonna drop this trailer and our trailer to pick up is loaded. Uh, 190380. So we'll drop this one. Uh, usually the first two rows are uh, the empties. And you see where all the empty spaces are there. So, um, Drop this one and then search around the lot till we find ours. I'd set this up to uh, kind of show you how to back into a, a shipper receiver. <laughs> so they got a bunch of empty spots. I'll uh, I'll find one that's not empty. Kind of show you a little bit easier. to the other side. So yeah, this Tropicana, um, I've been here six or seven times probably. It's, um, it's always really easy in and out. Uh, guard shack's always easy to deal with. Um, never, uh, never any issues. So the way I park, uh, now these are, on, these are on slants, so it makes it a little bit easier. Normally they'd be you know, straight across from one another, but this way uh, it gives you a little bit of help. But uh, always get as close as you can to the, to the side you're gonna back into, and I always try to back in. Let's see, we'll go right here. I always try to back in on the left side, on the driver's side. Uh, so you don't have to blind back in looking out this mirror over here. You can yeah, Look out your door and see your mirror and see how close you're getting to the trailer. That's gonna be beside you. So uh, I'll get here. I'll um, Look at the spot make sure that everything's clear make sure there's nothing that's gonna blow out my tires 
make sure there's no huge holes, uh, make sure that it's empty all the way back to the line. Uh, so I'll inspect it here. I'll get uh, I'll get about my drive tires or so. You see my drive tires are about right there, uh, parallel with the, or perpendicular, I guess, with the parking spot. So I'm close, I'm as close as I can get to these trailers. Once I get my drive tires there, I'm gonna turn my wheel hard to the right and get a snake out. And then you wanna remember you're gonna to have to turn back to the left so you don't want your front end to hit these trailers over here. So you're gonna just kind of ballpark it and say that's about good there. And then snake back this way. And then we're lined up to uh, get into that spot. And again, you see what I was talking about in that mirror. So we'll go in reverse. I'm gonna go hard to the right. Always check. You see that's gonna be too tight. So you're gonna pull straight. I pull straight, you don't pull to the right. As close as you can this way. And we're gonna come back again. Remember to watch your front. Still watching your front. Now you can line up with the line down the mirror. You got these trailers sticking kind of far out. There you go. So, and I'm by no means perfect at this at all. I just found what works for me. My mistake there, first of all, there's a bunch of empty spaces around. If you're not comfortable with back end or if you're not, uh, you don't think you're good at it yet, just take an empty spot. There were there are a bunch of spots you can just pull straight through. Um, second of all, this trailer and this trailer are really far out. Uh, pulled this way so I, I probably didn't choose the best example to show this on which I hate but uh, it shows that you know I'm not perfect I'm you know you got if you get in a tight spot just you know keep working at it take your time until you get it um, but these two are really far out so my my mistake there would have been when we came parallel to this side, or perpendicular to this side and we snaked out to the right I should have turned back a little bit earlier uh, that way whenever I swing my front end around I would have had that that plenty of room just like when I had to reassess and, and back up um, 
But yeah, you can see how the, the line of these trailers is all far back, and then these two right here, <laughs> straight across from the one that I picked, are pretty far forward. But anyway, um, we're in the spot. Um, go ahead and change uh, to on duty. Uh, pick up drop trailer. Okay. And uh, yeah, so now I'll show you. Um, and I've already done the, I've already done a uh, drop and hook video in the past, and a lot of people really like that video. But this is a uh, this is kind of play off of that. It's a lot of the a lot of the same stuff, just kind of bring you along to see the process of I can't find my keys see the process of coming into a, a Tropicana ah. so yeah again like I said uh, these two being a little bit farther forward made it a little more difficult. You can see that these are all kind of backed up, but these two, where I need to swing my nose to back in, were a little out there. There's plenty of room. And again, they're on a slant, uh, so you can really just kind of angle without doing the, the S pattern. But just to kind of show you, uh, look, yeah. Yeah, plenty of wide open spots. I didn't have to squeeze in there, but. Sometimes I think if you don't, uh, if you don't challenge yourself, you won't get any better. So don't always, uh, don't always take the easy way. It's good when it's there, and it's good whenever you, uh, when you need the, the easy way. It's always nice that it's there and it's an option, but make things, uh, make things interesting. Don't make things dangerous. Don't take risk you shouldn't take, but it's always uh, look for a little challenge, I guess. I fueled this trailer uh, on the way here. So it's slapped full of fuel. Some places want you to have the reefer running when you uh, get here, this one doesn't. check the uh, other landing gear other leg just to make sure it came down I had a trailer before where when I cranked the landing gear down this leg didn't come down and if I didn't see that I'd have pulled out from under and the trailer would have rolled over so always something to be mindful of whenever you get your landing gear to go down make sure it's actually going down Down, down, disconnected, disconnected. Good to go. So I'm looking for 190380. And instead of moving again, just try to find it this way. Look at there. 
190380. Straight across. Kind of crooked. Whoever put that in there did it crooked. Pre trip, start pre trip. Check everything out, make sure the trailer's in good shape, nothing, no real bad damage on it or anything. Uh, just below three quarter on the fuel gauge. Skirt's in good shape. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleventh hole. I don't think it was that heavy on the paperwork, so we might be able to adjust that. Kind of dirty. Come around the back. I always check the hinges. Uh, a lot of places, you back into them, or either they'll tell you not to open the doors until you back all the way in. They'll break the hinges on these trailers, so you don't want to get blamed for any of that. So make sure your hinges are in good shape. Make sure your bumper blocks are in good shape. 0536395 Tropicana. Make sure that's latched. Make sure that one's latched up there. Both of those. Sometimes you can shut them and they'll be outside and it won't seal the trailer door. So, bumpers in good shape. License plates in good shape. Walk around to the other side. Getting mud flap there. Mud flap there. Depth are in good shape. Hubs are in good shape. Cross members look good. Side looks good. A little bit of damage right there, uh, but you can see it's already been repaired. Prime already repaired it, or somebody has already repaired that, so I wouldn't list that as damage on my uh, pickup. Something I hate is, you can see this uh, this landing gear leg, it's, it's like angled, it's tilted back almost. So what the yard drivers, they'll park these trailers and then they'll pull away from it really fast and it'll flex. And you can see that that leg is kind of bent back. Once I get get it lifted up a little bit and on the back of my truck it'll straighten out but I hate when they do that a lot of times it'll make it to where you can't crank it up or down if you need to raise or lower for the height of your truck because it's bound up like that I, I can't stand when they do that
quiet. Most uh, most everybody's already done for the day. It's a little past 11. So to drop the rear end, a lot of y'all remember this from the uh, drop and hook video, but we got this uh, switch here. It lets the air out of the back end of the truck, sets the trailer down on the ground, and then you can pull out. Turn around. Tropicana they give you your paperwork at the guard shack on the way out so a lot of times you can sit back uh, back and do your paperwork inside the gated area wherever you're picking up um, but this is one of the places that they don't uh, they don't give it to you till you go through the guard shack on the way out all right so I'm here I'm gonna raise back up let the air back into my uh, rear end Wait for that to pick up. And you can kind of see it in the mirror. You can kind of see the air slowly rise. I think it's like four or five inches or something it does. Now we're back. This one looks really high. Nope, it's good. So to make sure that plate's flat. Normally in the in the side mirror, I'm looking at the distance between this and the top of the tire. I guess because I'm in a valley, it looked a little strange, but yeah, we're good. Keep going. Tug test anyway. All right. See, that one's really tight, so we're gonna have to slow crank it until it gets a little pressure off of it.
make sure the jaws are locked around it. Even though we did a tug test, I ought to look at it every time still just to, just to be sure. That's why I uh, came up and pushed the pedal. The truck will shut off after it idles for, I don't know how long it is, but it'll shut off. So if you tap the, tap the pedal, it'll stay in that idle. See if I find a place flat right over there for us to uh, set these tandems. it's hard to find a, a really level spot where you can uh, test these uh, or get the, get the weights on your uh, axles because if you remember you got to be uh, completely level because you have to let out release both brakes put it in neutral just let it sit for a second This is a flat spot here. All right, so right now I'm showing 28 on the drives. Wheel truck. I always put it between. 
you know, I, don't, I, don't, I never do it anywhere that I think it's gonna roll, but I always put it between the drive tires, that way it'll stop it forward or back. Think about it. And that's uh, 24. So we can actually slide slide the, the tandems forward a little bit, try to balance out. We got 28 there, 24 here. Uh, we're not at risk of going overweight. Um, I always try to, try to keep it somewhat balanced. Um, so I'm gonna, let's come up maybe to the 8th or 10th or something like that and then see what we get so remember we're gonna set the brakes Chalk up. If you remember, uh, I told you last time, a lot of times you have to kind of shake the truck for those pins to actually retract. Uh, so I always, I push, press the service brattle, service brake, put it in drive, release the tractor brakes. So now the truck's in drive and it's wanting to go forward. Let the air bleed off. And then I'm gonna let off the service brake and that's gonna kind of jerk the trailer along with the truck. And you might be able to hear it pop, let's see. Yeah, okay. So you heard them pop in. Now we can pull forward to get, to get movement on the tandems. Pull forward. All right, so they moved. So now we're gonna put it in reverse. Everybody's clear behind us. All right, so that is the end of it. That's all the way forward. Put a neutral. I think we're still really good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna release the trailer brakes. That's gonna allow those those pins to pop back out through the holes. Uh, the chances that they're actually lined up with one of the holes is very slim. Uh, so I, I got both brakes released. Set the trailer brake, put it in drive, and then we'll ease forward. And then as those pins are pressing out, once it reaches an empty hole, they'll pop out and they'll lock. So. Well, I was <laughs> I was directly ahead of a hole. They're they're in a hole now. So we're gonna set both brakes. We're at uh, 26. That's we're still way under. I'm not even concerned with double checking it. I just want to make sure these pins are locked in. Just to be sure, I'm not going through any short states. So I'm good there, we're at one, two, three, with the fourth hole, pin, and pin. I always check these pins. You can not have them locked in place and be going down the road and that's super dangerous. And there's the pin there and there's the pin there. So they're locked in place. Good to go.
Now back to the front. Pick up our paperwork and be ready to roll. Change this to uh, yard movement. That way it keeps you uh, keeps you on duty, but it takes you off of the drive line. this was helpful for everybody um, it's something that I don't think there's a lot of exposure for um, out I guess available but um, I hope it was somewhat interesting and uh, kind of gave you a better understanding of what all is going on at a shipper receiver tight back here but I think we're okay one nine zero three eight zero and I know at uh at some shippers receivers they get out inspect the trailer look at everything make sure it's in good shape uh, this place doesn't do that so I'm gonna get out and get the uh, get the seal number that way I don't have to get out at the gate Zero five three six uh, three ninety five oh one nine oh three eight oh three eight oh and locks too guys always make sure you're putting putting your ad boy lock on these trailers. This is a very expensive load. Uh, you don't want to be uh, have an insurance claim against you for negligence or anything for not having a lock on there. So make sure your lock's on, make sure your seal's on, make sure your trailer's the right number, make sure your license plate's in good shape, make sure all your lights are working. Make sure your pins are locked in too. It's a beautiful night. Love it. Check this. Pre-trip completed and passed. Exit. Right now it's on 32 degrees. And it's on fresh meat. 32, start, stop. So I'll look at the bills. When we get the bills, uh, it'll have the temperature. And then when I do my depart call, Prime will tell me what uh what they wanted on what the uh, common is uh Intelliset is for this uh shipper. Alrighty. Make our way back to the gate. Yeah, like I said, this one's always pretty easy. A lot of room to move around. Some places it's not easy to move around. And back to what I was talking about at the beginning. Uh, don't ever put yourself in a bad situation. Let me roll this one up. Don't ever put yourself in a bad situation or a difficult spot when you don't have to. If you've got a bunch of empty places to put a trailer, put it in the in the wide open spaces. Or even if you want to pull through, there's a few pull through availabilities like right there. Pull straight through. Don't even have to put the truck in reverse. But once you've been doing it for a little while, you, um, I don't want to say you challenge yourself, but make things, uh, 
big thing's interesting. Doesn't have to be the same old boring, monotonous thing every day. Uh, I kind of hesitate to say make a game of it, but just have fun, you know. Don't don't always pick the easiest spot at the truck stop. Again, if you need them, it's great that they're there. But uh, I don't know. Just kind of look for ways to challenge yourself and and get better at your skills every day. All right, it's hot. I gotta roll this window down. It's beautiful. 63 outside. It's so gorgeous. I love. I absolutely love coming to Florida. I just did my 10-hour break at uh, a little rest area uh, in the Everglades. Um, there wasn't any public access at the time, or else I'd have gone on a, like a hike or something. But just, man, Florida's just, Florida's just great. I love it. I got some friends that live here over in Tampa. Uh, it seems like every time, like I'll be going by Tampa in about you know, an hour, it'll be 1 a.m. before I get to Tampa, so. Just, uh, didn't work out this time. But, uh, I'll get to see him. Yeah. There. Change this, off duty. Turn that off, turn that off. Some places are friendly, some places aren't, but it is what it is. See, so that stop sign, you're supposed to stop there and then they get out of the guard shack and check your seal. They don't, <laughs> they don't check your seal. So that stop, sign's, that stop sign's pointless. But anyway, that's, uh, that's how it works. I know it was kind of uh, repetitive of some of the things that we'd done before, um, but 
hope it was helpful. I'm gonna uh, find a spot to park because uh, they won't let you. They won't let you park here and do your depart paperwork. So I'm gonna find a spot to park real quick, make this depart call, and I'm gonna be on my way going to uh, Kansas City, Missouri. So I may be going to the terminal after that. Um, hadn't decided yet. I may go there. I need to get some uh, trip sheets. But uh, anyway, thanks guys. Appreciate it.